Stop warming up your car in the morning. Here is why. Every winter morning, millions of drivers step outside, turn the key, and let their engine idle, believing they're protecting their car. But what if I told you this common ritual is quietly destroying your engine, wasting your fuel, and costing you money every single day? Because the truth is shocking. Warming up your car the old way is one of the biggest automotive myths ever created. The myth we all learned growing up. It's an image we've all seen. Steam rising from exhaust pipes, neighbors scraping frost off their windshields, engines thumping at low idle while coffee brews inside the house. It feels normal. It feels responsible. But this habit didn't begin with modern technology. It dates back to the 1980s and early 90s when carbureted engines ruled the road. Back then, fuel wasn't precisely measured, sensors were primitive, and engines genuinely needed time to warm up before they could operate smoothly. Your father did it. Your grandfather did it. And somehow, the tradition survived long after the technology changed. But the truth? Today's engines are nothing like the engines of the past. Modern cars equipped with electronic fuel injection and advanced engine management systems don't just tolerate being driven cold. They actually require a different approach. And that's where the myth falls apart. The science modern drivers don't know. Inside every modern engine, dozens of sensors talk to the car's computer in real time. Air temperature sensors, mass airflow sensors, oxygen sensors, throttle position sensors, all adjusting fuel delivery with microscopic precision. These systems were designed for one purpose, to get your engine to operating temperature as quickly and safely as possible. But here's the twist. Your engine does not warm up efficiently at idle. An engine reaches its safest operating temperature faster when it's driven gently, not sitting still. Idling wastes fuel, increases unburned hydrocarbons, and keeps the oil thick for longer. And thick oil means more wear on internal components. This is where millions of drivers unknowingly create long-term damage. Not dramatic, not immediate, but slow, silent wear. The hidden damage idling causes. When your engine is cold, oil is dense, almost syrup-like. It can't properly lubricate critical parts such as piston rings, bearings, cylinder walls, camshaft lobes. While idling, your engine runs a rich fuel mixture to prevent stalling in the cold. But rich mixtures lead to a dangerous problem. Fuel washdown, raw gasoline slipping past the piston rings and diluting your motor oil. Diluted oil loses its ability to protect the engine, which accelerates wear, especially during cold starts. The longer you idle, the worse this dilution becomes. And then there's carbon buildup. Cold idling never heats the engine enough to burn off deposits. Instead, soot starts accumulating on the spark plugs, intake valves, and exhaust systems, slowly robbing your engine of efficiency, responsiveness, and fuel economy. You think you're protecting your car. In reality, you're aging it faster. What automakers secretly want you to know. If you dig through owner's manuals from Toyota, Honda, Ford, BMW, and almost every major automaker, you'll find a very specific line hidden in the cold weather section. Drive the vehicle normally after 30 seconds of idling. Not 5 minutes, not 10 minutes, just 30 seconds. Why? Because automakers design engines to operate correctly almost immediately. As long as you don't floor it, rev aggressively, or drive at high loads. Gentle driving warms the engine efficiently, distributes oil evenly, and reduces carbon buildup. But here's what might shock you. In places like Canada and the northern U.S., Dealers have started reporting increased warranty claims caused by excessive cold idling, worn pistons, clogged catalytic converters, carbon-choked intake valves. And every time, the cause is the same. Drivers following outdated advice from decades ago. Why warming up your car feels good, but isn't good. Let's be honest. The warm-up ritual is comforting. You step outside, start the engine, go back inside, sip your coffee, and wait for that glorious heater to blast warm air. It feels like you're doing the right thing. But the truth is more psychological than mechanical. You're warming yourself, not your car. The cabin heater stays cold until the engine warms up, so idling just delays the process.
Driving gently warms the engine and the interior much faster and more efficiently. In other words, your comfort is costing your engine its long-term health. The modern warm-up method you should actually use. So what's the right way to warm up your car in 2025? It's surprisingly simple. Step one, start the engine. Step two, wait 20, 30 seconds. Step three, drive off gently. That's it. Avoid sudden acceleration, keep RPMs low, and let the engine reach operating temperature naturally. Your oil will circulate quicker, your sensors will stabilize, and your emission system will function properly, all within minutes. And yes, your heater will warm the cabin faster too. What about extreme winters? Chai 20 degrees, 30 degrees C? Great question. In brutal conditions, your engine still doesn't need a long idle, but the rest of your car might. Transmission fluid, power steering fluid, and even your tires behave differently in deep cold. Here's what mechanics in Alaska recommend. Let the car run for 60 seconds, not 10 minutes. Clear ice and snow. Drive off gently, allowing the drivetrain to warm gradually. Even in extreme climates, long warm-ups are unnecessary. But what if you use remote start, the remote start trap? Remote start systems exploded in popularity. They're convenient, comfortable, and luxurious, but they've also encouraged one of the worst modern habits, 15, 20 minutes of idling every morning. Your engine wasn't designed for it. Your catalytic converter hates it. Your fuel economy suffers. Your wallet feels it the most. And here's something many remote start users don't know. Long idling creates moisture inside the exhaust system. Over time, this moisture rusts the muffler from the inside out, especially on older vehicles. If you rely on remote start, use it smartly. Set timers for two to three minutes maximum, then begin driving gently. The environmental cost. Nobody talks about five minutes of cold idling may not seem like a big deal, but consider this. If 50 million drivers idle for five minutes each winter morning, that's over 4 million gallons of wasted fuel per day. Multiply that across an entire winter season and the numbers become staggering. This isn't just an engine issue. It's a national problem. Cities like New York, Toronto, and Vancouver have even passed anti-idling laws because cold start idling produces enormous amounts of unburned hydrocarbons that contribute to smog. Imagine paying higher fuel costs to shorten your engine's life and damage the air you breathe. This is why the warm-up myth must die. Real-world examples. What mechanics see. Every day, ask any experienced mechanic and you'll hear the same stories. Engines with unusual wear patterns. Spark plugs blackened with soot. Catalytic converters damaged by excessive rich mixtures. Oil that smells like gasoline after winter months. All trace back to excessive idling. Mechanics also report something interesting. Customers who don't idle their cars excessively tend to have engines that last longer, perform better, and run more cleanly during emissions tests. In other words, the drivers who break the warm-up habit save thousands in long-term maintenance. Why old advice refuses to die? The warm-up myth isn't just wrong, it's persistent. Why? Because it's comforting. Because older relatives swear by it. Because most people don't understand modern engine engineering. Because it feels safe, even though it isn't. Humans love routine, even bad ones. But as cars evolve, our habits must evolve too. Turbocharged cars. Should you warm those up? Turbocharged engines behave differently. So should you warm them up longer? Not really. Turbochargers rely heavily on engine oil. So gentle driving is more effective at warming them evenly. Idling only heats a small part of the turbo system, leaving other components cold and improperly lubricated. The result? More wear, not less. The same rule applies. Start. 30 seconds. Drive gently. Hybrids and electric cars. A new chapter. Here's where things get interesting. Hybrid engines don't need warm-ups at all. The electric motor handles the initial movement, and the gasoline engine joins in smoothly when needed. Electric vehicles? There's no engine to warm up, but preconditioning the battery while plugged in can improve range in cold weather. The warm-up conversation is fading because the technology is replacing it. The one thing you should warm up, your engine oil.
This may sound contradictory, but there's one warm-up that matters. Not the engine. Not the cabin. But the oil. Motor oil works best at around 100 degrees thighs. 212 degrees thighs. Driving gently is the fastest way to reach that temperature safely. Idling doesn't warm the oil effectively. It only warms the coolant. This is why many people feel confused. Their temperature gauge rises, but the engine still feels sluggish. That's because coolant heats fast. Oil heats slowly, and oil is what truly protects your engine. So why do car companies still provide remote start? Because comfort sells. Because consumers want warm cabins. Because companies respond to demand, not old myths. Automakers know modern engines don't need long warm-ups, but they also know customers want convenience. So they design systems that let you idle, while quietly advising against it. It's not deception, it's marketing. What you should do tomorrow morning. Here's your new winter routine. Walk to your car, start the engine, clear the windshield, adjust your seatbelt, mirrors, and radio. Wait about 20, 30 seconds, then drive slowly and smoothly. You'll save fuel, you'll reduce emissions, you'll protect your engine, and you'll break one of the biggest automotive myths of all time. The bigger picture. Cars are changing faster than habits. In a world of turbo engines, hybrid systems, electric drivetrains, and advanced lubricants, the old rulebook simply doesn't apply anymore. Cars are smarter. Engines are cleaner. Technology is sharper. But many drivers are still stuck in 30-year-old habits. The future belongs to those who adapt, not those who cling to myths. Closing message. A thought to leave with tomorrow morning. When you turn the key and see your breath in the cold air, ask yourself one question. Am I doing this because my car needs it or because I've always done it? Because the truth is simple and powerful, your car doesn't need long warm-ups anymore, but your wallet, your engine, and your future repairs will thank you for breaking the habit. Drive smart, drive informed, and leave the myths where they belong in the past.